one of the 1,500 artists who've signed an open letter calling for more support for the live music scene is the singer-songwriter Katie Tunstall. Joins us now from Los Angeles. Good morning to you all. Oh, I suppose good, good, after, good afternoon, I think, maybe <laughs> for you. It's actually like 10 to 1 in the morning here. Oh, that's your perfect time, isn't it? Actually, I've just finished a gig, but obviously not at the moment. Hey, oh, yeah, you would have done, wouldn't you? You must be missing it, mustn't you? I do miss it, and it's. I think, like everybody else, it's missing the connection with other people, seeing other people's faces. And, you know, I was just listening to what um, Mark and Dan were saying, and um, just to share with everyone that, that the UK is the second biggest per capita audience for live music ticket sales in the world. So, you know, we have to take on board here that the British public love going to see live music. It's a big part of our culture. Can you, Katie, good morning to you. Can you just clarify that the situation in, Ca in California was there was a loosening of a lockdown, wasn't there? And some things reopened. Yeah. I know that's changed again now. Did that include any form of, of live music? W was anyone able to perform at all? No, no, there's no, there's no um, large gatherings whatsoever. And I think all of us musicians were very aware when this started that we were going to be last in the queue for this stuff to come back. And I've heard many people in the industry, musicians and crew and promoters alike, talking about this being an extinction level event. I'm an ambassador on the Music Venue Trust with Mark and 97% of grassroots venues cannot stay afloat with social distancing. They'll go bust. So what does what happens now with this letter that you've um, you know been part of with all these artists? What what yeah. exactly are you asking for in terms of things that will make a difference? Because the the pandemic hasn't gone away and the virus isn't yeah. going away, and the idea and that we should socially clear what distance. The looks like yeah, either, ex exactly. Which, you know, so you about what's going to happen. You you ask for money and you ask for support, but for what did you say? An extinction level. Um, event, event. For, music, for live for live music. So what happens with this um, money? So what is needed is to keep these venues afloat, which are often struggling anyway because of business taxes, because of, um, as we said, it's rental, people not actually owning these venues. They're not running a profit. These are labor of love for many people running these venues. But what we need to look at is how important live music is to to us culturally as the uk because and and you know our sector isn't is it doesn't want to have to ask for help but we're looking at the government supporting sport and we we're asking for the same compassion from them to keep this afloat as an important part of britain's well-being and its economy uh katie I, i'm just trying to think of i mean this it is a bleak picture you're painting but one of the things that has happened is that the, there's a kind of connection now because partly, I mean, we're on Zoom now, aren't we? Or, uh, and, yeah. and there's kind of, are you finding new connections are being made? I'm looking, I'm trying to look for a small upside. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Has there been any of that, you know, in the, for no, you personally on the music industry? Honestly, Charlie, it's been a bit of a revelation for me because I'm always on the road and I'm traveling constantly and I'm gigging. And I've actually found that I'm, more in touch with my fans during this than I ever have been. And I think that, you know, the other problem we have with music is that streaming needs to get sorted out because it's not paying artists properly at all. And, um, and I think that what we're realizing is that music's become a kind of people have got used to it being almost free. And secondly, it's become so vast and saturated that people are looking for meaning in this time of difficulty. And that's what music does. It's very healing and very connecting. Well, Katie, and look, I I, that, my apologies no. for interrupting. It's lovely to talk to you this morning. I'm impressed by the pile of books that you've never read that's oh. just behind you there. Uh, Cheek. That, yes. I'll have a word with him, Katie. Don't, don't you worry. If uh, we wish you cheeky. well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thanks for staying up for us.